Hello everyone, it's Katria here now. Welcome you to this new video. Today I want to show you a tag replay of mine. I was tagging with people over from Dragonic Academia. They do have a little contentless Yu-Gi-Oh channel. I will I will I link it below, I guess. Although they don't do much on the channel, but we were tagging a bit and we had this tag and I was in a team with Marinku. Uh, you see her deck right here, it's Imperial Magnum Turbo and my deck was Sylvan, of course, as you might expect from the title. And we were playing against Yatsi, who was playing his Chaos Max Turbo deck and Legendary Greed who was playing his um, Mecha Phantom Beast deck which he just put together at that time. And you see here that uh, Yatsi is the first turn player. He already has um, Chaos Max on the field basically and he has a quite decent opening hand in general. And um, the same goes for Marinku, she already has basically Imperial Magnum on the field with this hand. But let's get into the replay. Alright, it basically starts with Dragon Shrine and just summoning everything he has. So basically the turn just consisted of dumping uh, blue eyes and white stone, throwing out another, uh, yeah, throwing out the max dragon, gospeling into a blue eyes, and just stoning into the other. And then we've got my turn. And yeah, the name is a bit off as always, but yeah, this is my turn. I have those six cards on my hand. I will use every single card from my hand in this in this um, situation, in this turn. So please watch closely as I progress. So we start by normal summoning a Kumashrumo and going for the triple Lone Fire because we have Symbol of Heritage. We also use Mount Sylvania so we can adjust our next mill into a piece. So we get another uh, another Lone Fire off and at this point we also get another very good excavation with which is the Princess Sprout which helps us very much together with the Sage Choir so we can go for a very cool rank 7 Xyz but you will see it in a second then we of course try to excavate as much as we can and then we go into Aurea and for those who don't play Sylvan as much, Aria uh, has basically two effects. The first is tributing, uh, no, sending one plant type monster from hand or grave, uh, hand of field to the graveyard and stacking the cards, uh, the top cards from your deck the same amount than uh, the level you send, basically. And the second effect is excavating free and for each plant type monster you excavated you can shuffle one card on the field into a on the sand. And that is a non-targeting effect. So this is a basic out of Sylvan against Chaos Max. And I was basically able to pull it off because uh, safely because I got Flower Knight with Guardi Oak and Flower Knight can stack with uh, any card, any Sylvan on top. So I don't have to tribute, which is another big factor. Although I could have tributed and shuffled three plant types on top if I had and shuffled all the three other three cards back to the head, but I wouldn't have the same result in terms of monsters than I would have in this situation. Well then we go from Gauntlet Launcher, so we attempt to destroy both cards, one gets of course Gospel, and then we finally go for the Heritage. So at this point we just shuffle back uh, his last Blue Eyes and go for the Crystal Wing. So we got rid of two Blue Eyes White Dragon and Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon with a basic combo of Giga Vice Sylvan without even using Giga Plan to its full extent. Which is basically why I show you the replay. <laughs> but yeah, we go for a nice 8200 damage and basically end our turn for Legendary Greed. And as we see right here, Legendary Greed is breaking hard. He has only a Mega Raptor and an Oleon and some spells. At this point, yeah, it's basically game already because he has nothing to put against us but yeah see for yourself you can just go for mega raptor and basically yeah i fall too late but basically he can um attempt to call off a haunted if he had one into cold wing into summoning free tokens but the first problem is he doesn't have call of a haunted the second problem is i summoned crystal wing from my extra deck 
so that is not happening. Now, at, at this point in time I did not know what Marinko was playing. So I was thinking, well maybe she's playing Madolce because Madolce is her main deck and I sent, uh, I just excavated a piece with my Silver Mountain. So I thought, well, if she was if she is playing that deck, we already have ROTK on the field basically. I can give her a level 1 Earth Tuner so she can go maybe for some other Synchros because she is playing a bit synchro -y lately so she might use it but well as you see she was not playing what I thought greed instantly popping my Sylvania which sh he should have done last turn already that was a very little mistake though because it didn't have to do that much so as I said she had um, basically Imperial Magnum on her opening head so there it is there, uh, Super Conduction Machine Imperial Magnum who does not know this card this card is basically very strong but very unique in uh, getting it out because you need both Valkyrian and Bessarian to get it out so basically this is the counterpart to Crystal Wing as it can negate one spell or trap card once per turn so we have one monster negation and one back row negation on the field this is quite good and as you see we can just run over the final things they have and we go and Rin goes with Aurea for game. And yeah that's basically this replay and I wanted to show this to you because it is, the f it is a common fact that Blue Eyes is becoming meta as soon as the movie pack is out here in the TCG which is by the end of this month I think it was the 27th or something that the movie pack is out in the TCG and basically even with Sylvan or even with no with non-meta decks it is very possible to get over that Chaos Max Dragon you can with light decks you can go honest above it with Sylvan you can go Aurea above it or whatever you can you, you just have to be creative and well okay it's no creativity to go Aurea in a Syl uh, Sylvan deck but you have to think a bit creative a bit over the top if the card can't belong to your archetype so you can make your rogue or whatever deck you have your fun deck let's let's tell your fun deck go over with chaos max it is very very easy let's say Crystron for example because that's a good fact uh, that's a good topic as well they could just summon an Armatrix uh, in their turn or in your turn show, um, changing your opponent's Chaos Max Dragon into defense position and guess what he has zero defense and you can just run over it. So you should just try to aim for creativity in your deck building in, uh, in terms of countering the current meta and Although it's not a big thing I did in this particular deck because Aurea is a Sylvan card and I was playing a Sylvan deck. This is quite important anyways. And yeah, this is everything I wanted to tell you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can already tell you that my next full video will most likely be Crystron. So look forward to that. This has been Akutrice and stay Raven.